stand maker. This is the, the light box. Um, it has four UV light bulbs in and it hardens polymer to create your own custom stamps. This comes in a kit, it's a um, acrylic uh, clamp with magnets all the way around. And what you do is you take a negative, you take this one because it's a very pretty design, mm -hmm. put that in there. This goes right way up. If you had text, it would be reading side up. Okay. You take one of the sachets out of the box. These have to be kept in the dark until you're ready to use them because they harden under the light. And you can see here you have the word image pack. Okay. Again, you put that into the clamp, reading side up, like so. And the reason you have to do it this way round is because you want your stamp to form in reverse, so that when you stamp it, the text or design is the right way round. Okay. Just squeeze it down so the polymer is nicely even across the top. You now pop it under the light and we do the first exposure with the negative on the bottom for 10 seconds. Okay. And what you're doing here is you're creating a floor, the background here. Okay, the seconds. hard part in the, the back. Part. Okay. And what that does is it stops you uh, rubbing off all of the design when you wash it away at the end of the process. You now put it back in with the negative on top and the light is going to go through the clear areas and harden the gel to form a stamp. And this we put in for 1 minute 40 seconds. Um, we've got 125. I'm going to add about 10 seconds to that. Okay. When you've made your stamp, you take it out and wash it and you're ready to use. In your kit you will have this cling film. It's like a magic cling film. Okay. It's not sticky at all. But it sticks through the surface tension to a plastic block or an acrylic block and then your stamp sticks to that. Stick to that and you okay. can use it time and time again. Yeah. As long as you keep it clean, you know, wipe the ink off, it will last weeks and weeks. I mean this piece of cling film will last me the whole of the show. Okay. So that's pretty good. So then the um we're making personalized stamps one at a time. Yes, you're making personalized stamps one at a time, but the beauty of it is, is you can create things from truly personal images. This mm -hmm. was my boss's daughter, Arabella, drew a picture of the family, uh, note the new baby at the end uh -huh. here. <laughs> um, and this was used um, for a Mother's Day card. Okay. Scanned into the computer using the artwork program that you get in the kit and turned into a stamp and made to, to make a card. Okay, so, so any black and white art, any black to, line doesn't artwork doesn't even have work. to be black and white. Okay. When you get the kit, you get a, a CD, and online we have an artwork program. It takes any image that you have and it will turn it into a black and white image. Okay. And then turn it into a negative, so that you can print out a negative like this. Mm -hmm. You get in your kit. You'll get special image black film, which is acetate with a um, coating on, which intensifies inkjet ink to make it truly black. Mm -hmm. And what you need to do is make sure that you can't see your finger through the black areas. Okay. It has to resist light. Now, we're cooked here. <laughs> so, as I open this, you twist it to release the magnets, mm -hmm. and then you can see here. Just hold this up. That you've got your stamp okay. inside the sachet. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut round all these four edges mm -hmm. and wash the stamp out. Okay. Just get my water. If you were doing this at home, you'd do it over a sink with nice warm soapy water. The warmer the water, the quicker it washes out. Obviously I'm at a show, so I have to use a basin. <laughs> cold water and a, and a basin. Same thing, it still works. You cut into the sachet all four sides. And you peel off the top, and as I peel off the top, you'll see the stamp is left okay. on the back of the acetate sheet. A bit of dish soap on the top, and then you scrub with a brush. This brush comes in the kit. And what I'm doing now is all the polymer that was under the black areas has it's remained soft, liquid right? okay. and is soft. And I'm taking it out by brushing it with this brush. It's a bristle brush. Um, you can brush quite, quite hard to get the polymer out. And the reason you did the first exposure for 10 seconds was to create the floor at the back so that as I'm doing this I'm not scratching off all the fine little lines. Okay. Right, so that's clean. Okay. You can see where it stays white mm -hmm. when you rinse it. That's where you've got a bit of polymer left, so just okay. give it a bit more of a scrub. Okay, there. there we are. You now take it and you put it into a, a small tray, which comes again in the kit again, of just plain water, and you pop it back under the light for two minutes. 
and that and hardens what, the yeah, rest. What that's doing now is hardening the gel so that it is the right um, texture to hold ink and it stops the stamp being sticky. We could stamp with it now, but the stamp will be a little bit sticky. Okay. Um, this is one that wasn't left for, very, for the correct time, so it's very pink. Okay. I could put that back under the light now and it would harden. Um, the other thing you can do, which is, is a great thing to do, is to make a photo stamp. So this is a photo of a cat and um, when you make a photo stamp you get a completely different type of stamp. Mm -hmm. Instead of having the relief of something like this with all the design, you get a stamp that's almost solid yeah. because it's like newsprint. It's mm -hmm. lots of tiny dots and pixels mm -hmm. that will pick up the ink and stamp and okay. give you a good, good representation. Right, take this out of here. The stamp is now cooked and hardened. <laughs> piece of kitchen roll and you need to make it really dry okay because you're going to ink it up and you're also going to stick it to the acetate block that's cool <laughs> that's cool i'm just going to trim around the edges of this because it's a bit ragged where i cut unevenly into the uh, sachet and i like it to be neat if you had uh, more of an open design, I would cut right close up to the design to stop the back of the stamp picking up any ink. Okay. And then this will stick to my block, mm -hmm. like so. And lots of ink. And I'm using a VersaFine ink here, which is great because it's uh, water-based, so you can wash the stamp store it after use and I like lots of ink and I'm just going to wipe it off the back of this mount so I don't pick that up when I stamp Oops. too many stamps going <laughs> and I'm just going to pop that on there I use a piece of foam or a foam pad underneath the paper because it gives you such a good stamp oh wow and there you are so this was so quick, you could so make quick. a stamp for a project in under 15 minutes and five, be stamping with it. Five minutes. Yeah, if incredible. You've, if you've already prepared your negative, mm -hmm. if you need to create a negative mm -hmm. from a picture, add 10 minutes just mm -hmm. to get it yeah. right, to get it yeah. cropped and whatever. But the beauty of this is as well as this stamp, you can make an emboss. So there's your stamp. Mm -hmm. This is an emboss. It's okay. much thinner, much harder and it will go through any of the big rolling machines and okay. create an embossing Yeah, they too. have a... Um, Grand Calibre is my favourite. Yeah, it, they have an so embosser easy. right here that they've yeah. been using. To... So you can create your own custom designs, you can emboss text, mm -hmm. uh, you can emboss um, a, a pattern, you can either deboss it and press it in or emboss it and it's raised up. Mm -hmm. Possibly wow. Swim, it's your choice. Thank you. And there's the machine that I yeah. just want to show you and um, thanks a lot. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs>